Welcome to my Cisco Routing and Switching Lab Review. We're doing Lab 11214, Configuring Static NAT. So first thing I did was I turned it on, I gave it about three minutes just so that everything can converge, and so we should be good to go. So from PC1 or L1, attempt to connect to that website. So PC1. Type in that IP address and go. Use the web browser to browse to. The attempts again should fail. All right, requested timeout. So now let's go ahead and try to ping R1, which they don't really give us the addresses for. So that's always really fun. So we're looking at the serial interface, which happens to be 209.165.128.130. Ping 209.165.128.130, and our ping does work. All right, so let's uh, view the running config. Enable, show run. There is no NAT. So verify the routing table does not contain an entry referring to show IP route. All right, there is nothing there for PC1 or Laptop one, verify that NAT is not being used. Show IP NAT, NAT TRAN, and nothing is there. So that's all done. So we're gonna to refer to the topology and create a static NAT to map server one's inside to its outside address. Inside outside address. So on R1, let's get to our configuration terminal. I hope if I spell it right. All right, so we're gonna be doing IP NAT. IP NAT inside source. We're going to be doing a static one to one NAT roll. It's going to be 172.16.16.1, and we're mapping it to 64.150.1. Source static one to one mapping. All right, so we did step one. Now let's go ahead and do step two. So what we have to do here is we have to actually say which ones are inside, which ones are outside. So here the serial will be the outside and the gigabit will be the inside. So interface serial 000 IP NAT outside interface gig zero zero is IP NAT inside and we've done that so let's go ahead and let's try to ping again sorry not ping again web browser we're gonna go try to do our web browser again And see, that should time out. What we need to be really accessing is our public IP address of it.
And there we go. So it does work. A big thing here is remember when you're doing static one-to-one -one mappings, the syntax. IPNet inside. inside question mark source the source address that we want to translate so here we always say source and next we can do a list or we can do static a list is more like a pool static is more one-to-one -one. all right that's this slab in a nutshell thank you